So uh, let me see these uh, quarterly reports. Excellent, excellent. I'm liking this uh, Netherlands branch. I see a lot of potential here. We need to take advantage of this profitable branch because our workers are unsatisfied with their wages. All right, you're all dismissed. My goals as head of uh, Spanish Incorporated are to preserve what I like to call the Pillars of Spanish Power, or PSP. You know, when I inherited this company from the Habsburgs, I also inherited their responsibility. You know, but um, even though we have a large client base, we have branches all over the world that bring in vast uh, revenue and resources, and we have a strong workforce. And uh, the market is, you know, really dominated in the Mediterranean by our company. So, you know, when this Netherlands branch opportunity came upon me, I really saw it as a, a way to make something of this company. And I have just the guy for the job. Hello, Jessica. Send in Mr. Perrineau. Mr. Perrineau. All right, Antoine. All right, Steve. You know, I've been uh, I've been watching you lately, and I like your work. I think your uh, your attitude really reflects my uh, moral beliefs. And uh, well, frankly, I have some good news for you. There's uh, some light reading. I'm gonna send you over to head the uh, the Netherlands branch. What do you think of that? Oh, well, hey, Antoine. Wait a second. Come over here. Uh, you can sit down. Whatever. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Not in trouble. Okay. But, uh, you know, when you go over to this Netherlands branch, Antoine Parano, what, what kind of name is that? You know, uh, you're a Cardinals fan? Well, you might as well be. Because when you head over there, I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm going to be calling you Cardinal Grandview. Uh, with all the respects, sir, uh, Grandville. I'm really excited about this Netherlands branch. And I get to, uh, I get to work there. I get to get out of this office. And I get to, uh, just the man there is just so great. He's a great guy. I like I like his leadership. I like the role model he presents in this office space. And yeah, I heard there's some. Uh, I gotta crack down over there. But uh, it's gonna be great because I get to this office. I feel like Harry Potter in here. I'm under the stairs. It's refreshing. Yo, dude, what do you think of this corporate guy? Uh, I don't like this guy. He's kind of a fool. We don't like this guy. He's kind of a fool manager and uh, I'm really looking forward to spinning up. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to making this great branch. We're really prosperous right now. We just we just keep going with this. I've got some reforms here. Uh, I'll look at these. Okay, not. Uh, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can say I'm a pretty delicious guy. I mean, I'm a cardinal after all. And. Uh, that board meeting went poorly, and we got to start cracking down. And as much as I like to be as friendly and lovable as Taylor Lautner, Team Vogue, cover. You got it? I'm not. It's just, it's reality we have to all face. I was really upset about Orange's uh, dancing. It didn't, I didn't like it. Actually, I liked it. It turned me on. And uh, that guy who threw the thing in my head. Who was he? Does he even work here? I don't think so. It was upsetting. Yeah, I do what I want. I don't really think religion comes into the workplace. I was a Catholic, a Protestant, Calvinist. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect my performance. Uh, Orange! Get back to work. No! Ah, 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 ah. Get out of here. And you know, this Granville guy, or whatever you call him, if he's actually serious about trying to religiously reform this whole office, then I don't know. I think he's kind of into me, so I think I'm just going to have to kick his ass. Get your ass out of there! Keep going. Yeah, so the whole uh, Granville thing really didn't work out, you know. I'm not one to uh, admit my mistakes, but I guess he just really wasn't ready for the big leagues. I mean, after he left, I tried to impose some of my uh, stricter religious reforms, and 
they just really wouldn't have it. I mean, fortunately I got rid of that William of Orange guy, but now his younger brother's being even more of a pain. I mean, we kind of have to drop a compromise over that religious stuff. Actually, it wasn't really a compromise. It was really just a memo that I hoped they wouldn't read. But uh, they did, and I guess some violence broke out or something. I don't know. My brother, that orange guy, was a legend around here. I'm hoping to fill his shoes someday. I'm going to knock corporate right onto its knees, and maybe, maybe someday, I'll get a better reputation than my brother. I like my calves, boys. You know, I really, uh, I really can't take these rebellions for much longer. You know, in these kind of situations, you really need an ace in the hole, and uh, luckily, I think I have just that. I, uh, I recently spoke to my man Alba, old friend from uh, college days, where we used to call him the Duke, you know. But uh, he's going to try to work things out. Thanks to those brothers, you know. They've really put back my chances of effectively controlling that branch. I'm going to send Alba over there, have him set up a little council, and uh, we'll see how things turn out. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. This Alpha guy, he's causing chaos. I'm freaking out. Relax, boy. At least you got your paychecks. Hey, guys. Relax. I heard there's a ten penny sales half on every sale you make. No! 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 That whole thing didn't work out that well, did it? I mean, newspapers, when they caught one of that story, they reported it as Council of Blood. Real clever. We had a name for it over here, too. Freaking trouble. That's what I'm telling you. I think I got some memo saying that thousands died. I don't even know how that's possible, considering, like, what, 20 people work in that branch?